after you've gone through and you've created your design and you've done your collaboration, you can go through and start to export your content. Now let's take a look at that. So if you've got a file open, what you can do is you can export in a lot of different ways from here and you can export in multiple formats. If you have nothing selected, come over to the right, you should see with the file open, with the design tab selected, you'll see down here we have export. If you click on the plus, you can choose from different formats if you want to, ping, JPEG, and SVG. You can set up things like the scaling if you want, 1x is basically 100%. We can add a suffix to the file name if we want to, which appears at the end. You can then export it, you can click on preview. Now what's interesting about this is that we had nothing selected and what it's gonna do is export everything, all the frames as a single ping. This is if you wanted to send it out and say, ah, take a look at everything I'm working on, okay? One big picture of it. If you click on the minus here, you'll remove the export setting, that way it won't do it for us. Now suppose that we wanna export all the artboards or the frames as different images. If you drag across or you select all, it's called, let me move back, back up here. You can also shift click to select all the different frames over there. Scroll down in the right, come to export and click on the plus. You'll see once again, we choose a file format that all of these are gonna be exported as. So if I want ping, that's great, I'll do that. Come to preview, you can click on preview here. Scroll down if it will give you a preview, mine's not doing it. And you can either click export to export the four different layers here, or you can come up to the upper right, click up here, and you'll usually be able to see a preview right up here. Now it's gonna go in and say, which ones do you wanna export? And right here, you'll see that this frame or this layer is a duplicate name, so it's not gonna wanna export that. But we can click export here or export four layers down here to be able to export the different files in a folder. Now, another way we can do this, click to deselect. And by the way, when you put on export settings onto things, if I click on home, for instance, later on and scroll down, you are going to see it's gonna retain those export settings, even if you share this file with someone, which is really pretty cool. If you click on an object, like a button, or multiple objects if you wanna do that, you can click export. Once you apply an export setting, like I just said, it's gonna remember it. So if I come to ping, choose SVG from that, You'll see there are three dots right here. If you click on that, you can do a couple different things like include an ID attribute if you want to, outline any text, which you gotta be careful. If you try to copy paste this content to another file or, or to another app, for instance, the text is gonna become shapes or just the contents only. You're gonna see right here, any overlapping foreground background layers will be disabled, which is great. That's actually good. So it's only the content you selected. All right, I'll close that up and then click export group two. It's gonna export it for you and it should put it in your downloads and you should be able to see that. Now, like I said, once you assign a lot of this, it's already there later on. If you give it to somebody else or you come back to this file, those export settings will be there, which is great. Another key, easy way to export content from here, if you're trying to take content from here and go to, let's say another program, maybe like Adobe XD, you can come to content and right click on it and choose copy as down here CSS or SVG. So if I choose SVG, it's gonna copy it, but it's gonna take that text and turn it into outlines. If I go to another application like Adobe XD, okay, I'm in Adobe XD now and I paste, there it is. It's a group, I can look at it, but the text are now a series of paths. Okay, let me go back over to Figma. Another way to access that, if you wanna copy as, if you come into the file menu up here, right up there, you're gonna see copy as CSS, text, or SVG. So as you can see, just a, a lot of different ways to be able to export your content. That way you can start building this when you get ready for production and you've got production ready assets.